What's up, y'all? <laughs> no, just kidding. So, uh, okay, it's been about 24 hours, and man, I have been barching my ass off all day. I'm so sick of barching. I never thought I would say that. I can't even stand. I can't even stand to say that the word barch it makes me want to vomit. I got to be honest. Okay, so day one got a Tesla. The drill, I got my Archer Tower going up to level four. I'll do level five this evening, because that's a 12 hour dig. Uh, this is what, a day? Yeah, so just a little, little level one uh, Wizard Tower, and then my little baby air defense, also level one. And that's, uh, what's the day two? Okay, but the big important thing is, you'll notice my gold. Uh, I do have enough to get that second expo. I wanted to wait and start it Sunday night. Um, but I'm thinking I should just start it now so somebody doesn't steal all my monies. I, uh, you know, I got, I got attacked twice since, uh, I upgraded. I mean, obviously. Um, once a few hours after I, I upgraded, I was offline for a little while. And uh, the dude, the dude just dumped a few archers and tried to snipe the town hall, uh, and he, he didn't have like anything else in his army, so he obviously didn't realize that. Um, Hello, there's a big fat mortar right there, so he obviously whiffed on that. And then uh, this this top guy, he just you know I don't know if he was going for the fifty or he thought there was something in the mines and pumps, but uh, he didn't get shit. So I'm um, really really good day one. I don't know if. I don't know. I, I, I just I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that I was in gold three, and uh, even even today, I mean I'm up in gold two now. But um, I was offline for a couple hours uh, on multiple occasions, and I didn't I didn't get touched. I mean nobody even sniped my town hall, so which is really weird because I've definitely had enough cash to go after um, all day. So you see my. Archer Queen, I'm going to upgrade her to level 2 tonight as well. I got about, what did I get? I don't know, 6,000? I don't know. I didn't know what I, I, didn't even know what I had yesterday. Uh, I was just so excited to be Town Hall 9. So, I don't know. Between six and 10,000 today, I think. Um, I haven't really lost any raids, so, I mean, loot's been, it's been kind of weird. Uh, you know, I'm just a Town Hall 8 with an Archer Queen, so it's not like I've got some big attacking uh, power. I, I will say that I have gotten uh, some storages with the Archer Queen that I wouldn't have been able to get just, uh, you know, using the Barbarian King and my Barch Army. But uh try not to use too many spells so I can keep my Elixir going. I've got another, what is today, Saturday? So another four four days before my lab is done and I want to start the loons uh, as soon as that's finished so um, yeah see and I, I ain't got no damn gems so I can't finish that up so we're just gonna leave that um, for now I would have liked to have gotten my dark elixir drill going I mean because you know let's be honest level one weak sauce I mean it, it caps out at 120 so in six hours the thing is full well, that's just stupid, but uh, I don't have enough builders, unfortunately, so because I got four days on the lab, uh, about six on this expo, and I, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and start the other expo, right? Why not? Why don't we just go ahead and start that off now, and, oops, okay, and then we'll throw it in here. I really like this farming base. I, uh... This is called the Bear's Claw. I found it on the Supercell forums. Um, I can't remember the guy's name who made it. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up while I chit chat here. So let me tell you. Anyway, um, I, it's it's kind of a, a rare design. I, I do like the way it kind of has the the hog ring going on here. Now it it does have a hog ring. I this wizard tower here at the top. I actually moved. The spell factory out so um, what what you had before was you had your spell factory here your archer towers were here and then whiz outside get in there uh, 
your expos are in the middle. Here, let me just go ahead and do it up. Oops. Like it's supposed to be. And then you can see what you think. But anyway, if you just uh if you just search for Town Hall 9 Anti Hogs Southern Teaser on the COC forum on Supercell, you'll you'll find the guy's thread. Um Anyway, I'll, I'll look it up because I do want to. I do want to give the guy credit for it. His name is Darkness. Darkness four nine one zero came up with this, and I have a little bit different layout than his original setup, just as far as uh, you know what's in the core. But anyway, um, as you can see, you know you've got this nice little uh, anti-hog ring going around here, which now that DE, uh, I'm sorry, now that, that regular elixir is as important to keep as gold since you want to farm walls with it, uh, or, or more importantly, the guy attacking you wants to farm walls with it, I like this layout because it, it doesn't expose your elixir, but uh, I think you've also, you know, got a pretty decent spread I mean, if someone doesn't three-star your base, there, there's a good chance that they're, you know, this, these little side pieces right here uh, by your heroes are probably what they're going to go for. That's what I would go for because I have a better chance of getting either, you know, the two gold storages on the left or the two elixir storages on the right. And then, uh, you know, the DE, I'm not sure what the best way to attack that was. Maybe... I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll just have to see because I know I'm going to get crushed um, because my defenses are upgrading and, and they're not real strong. But, uh, you know, that's part of the game, right? Shitting on, this, on the little guy and taking his money. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what, what you can do in a day or two. I have been uh, boosting my heroes in, during the day and I did boost my spell factory for a little while because I, I was using two lightning spells in the mortars, but I just felt like I, I was just losing losing too much elixir trying to raid that way, so I just said, hey, I'm, I'm not going to use them as much. Um, so, anyway, so here's the layout that uh, that I would probably go with. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe these air defense could go a little further out. I mean, they're really centralized, so, you know, somebody could take, I don't know, you could probably still 50% this base with... Lunion. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys any attacks that I get. Uh, just because I know people are typically interested. You know, they see a good layout and they go, "Oh, well, is it any good?" I don't know. You know, try it, jackass, and see. So I'll be the jackass that tries this out, and I'll let you guys know. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, uh, Darkness four nine one zero is the guy who created this. So look him up on the COC Supercell forum uh, if you're interested in you know, using this design if you're a Town Hall 9. And let me, you know, drop me some comments. Let me know what you guys think should be the upgrade priority. Um, I told you in episode one, I'm really going to focus on my heroes. So uh, right now, you know, all my Dark Elixir is going to the Archer Queen to get her up to level 10. And then I'll probably do my minions once she's at 10. And then once they get to, you know, maybe it, when I switch to the BK and get him to 15... I'll do uh, witches, and then I'll do golems when the queen gets up to 15. And my regular elixir, elixir troops, you know, I'll just do the loons and barch for starters. I'll probably do giants last. But anyway, um, and my clan castle, that's probably next after my expos are done. So once my crossbows are, are both finished level one, I'll do my clan castle. And then I'll start my wizard towers to level seven. Hopefully I'll have this little this little blue hatted man up to level six by that point. Okay, thanks guys. Uh stay with me, stay excited, and mash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Peace out.